Welcome to another interesting edition of Let's Talk Football, the most talk about football show on social media. On Let's Talk Football, we look at the issues surrounding the most passionate game in the world, football. We look at the money in football, the action and the controversies all around it. I remain your anchor, Wale Adebayo. Fasten your seatbelt, relax as we talk football. Six months after his initial appointment as the Super Eagles manager in place of the sad General, the controversy we all thought went away is back. The Nigerian Football Federation on Sunday, 15th May 2022, announced Osef Victor Dos Santos Pesero as the new senior national team head coach of the Super Eagles. Osef Pesero now becomes the 21st foreign coach to manage the Super Eagles. Record it down since Englishman John Finch led Nigerians to his first international game against Sierra Leone on October 8, 1949, when both countries were under British colony. The burning questions, however, many football fans and pundits is asking, is Ose Pesero the right man for the Super Eagles? Will he be able to achieve what the likes of Otto Glory and Clemens Westhoff did in 1980 and 1994 respectively by winning the African Cup of Nations? Can he make the Super Eagles of Nigerian Swai again? Let's talk football. Gathered from a reliable source inside the NFF that the 62-year-old Portuguese tactician, Jose Pesero, will receive a whopping salary of $70,000 monthly, which amounts to 20, over 29 million naira, yeah, from which he will pay his two incoming personal assistants. We have no issue with that. We went to the street to ask the fans what is their view on the new Super Eagles head coach. Let's hear them out, and we'll see you after this timeout. No, for now, I think it's the right, the right man for the job. Because I've been performing for the country and the club has been training. And then we, I think for now we can manage him and see his performances before we can complain on, on him. Um, well, to my own view, that Pesero, I don't think he's, an, he's the right man for Super Eagle right now. Because he's an average coach man. What I said is that looking at his achievements, I don't think he has achieved anything tangible in, coaching, in his coaching career. Meanwhile, we can give him benefit of doubt because given the enabling environment, he can perform. That is if he is being supported by Nigerian government very well, just like West Tower of years. If he can get the support, I think he will perform because we have the talent that can do his job, for, that can deliver the job for him. Uh, actually, for me, he's not the right man because uh, we have made this mistake for a long time. If you look at African football, it's different from European football. Look at the times of uh, Egyptian, the uh, Senegal, Egyptian. So they, are, they, they, they start from the grassroots coach. We can't just waste our money on the foreign coach. Where you guys, they are going to be detained for us. Let's start from our own grassroots coach. So we can just encourage them to go for coaching course. Not that uh, we need a foreign code, foreign code, we're just wasting our money on it. No, I don't think it's the best for us, sir. So that's my own opinion. Welcome back. You've had it from the fans. For me personally, I think it would be too early to judge Jose Pesero. Are they suitable for the Super Eagles? But time will tell with his performance and results for the Super Eagles. Though the Nigerian national team is not the first of kind for Pesero, the 62 year old is not entirely new to African football. Pesero had a short stint with the continent's most successful club, Al Ali of Egypt. Though he won the league with the Egyptian Giants, he fell out of favor with the fans of the club, and that contributed to the early exit from the club. Though well traveled with his vast experience, Pesero basket of woes at different teams across different periods does not instill loss of confidence and are well documented. From Panathinaikos to, to Braga to Saudi Arabia, there has hardly ever been any happy ending whenever he has found himself. We hope this will not be the case with the Super Eagles. The NFF openly admitted defaulting the payment of salaries to Kojena Roy. Interestingly, Pesero resigned from his last job with Venezuela because of unpaid wages. This behalf informs some reported clauses being championed by the Portuguese to be inserted in his contract because they say once beaten, twice shy. What do you think of this topic? Do you think Jose Pesero is the right man to take the Super Eagles to the next level? 
Let's hear from you. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel, Mflux Visual. You can also follow us on Instagram and call us on this number. Let's Talk Football is produced by Mflux Visual. And as I've told you earlier, very, very soon, uh, Let's Talk Football will be having its own YouTube channel. We'll be having its own Facebook and Instagram channel. Just keep watching this space very, very soon. As I sign out on this program, I leave you with the word. Never ever give up doing whatever you know how to do best. Keep doing what you know how to do best. Because on this program, we like talking football. And football, we will keep talking. See you on the next episode of Let's Talk Football. God bless you. See you later.